Hey guys, today we're gonna review my Fender Squire Bullet. Now, if you watch some of my videos, about eight months ago, I did a video where I compared the Squire Bullet to the American Strat, and I mentioned in that video that I liked the Strat, because I did, and that I was gonna keep it, and I did, and I was probably gonna do something interesting to it, and I did. So uh, recently I was asked the question, what do I think of guitars in the $200 price range, uh, also known as beginner instruments, and what do I think of Squire? And obviously I like both because I have one. So let me explain. One thing about entry level instruments is you have to understand a little secret that I've learned over the years when it comes to quality of guitars. And I was just telling some friends about this this week. Um, the quality of guitars really has to do with the how many of the unquality guitars, the bad quality guitars, get seen by the end user. Let's never pretend. There's no such thing as a, somebody who's building a product perfect every time. What hopefully happens is there's a QA process that stops the customer from being QA. See, somebody has to be QA. It's either somebody at the company that either sees the defective product and stops it from getting out, or it gets done to the customer, and now the customer is the quality assurance department. I personally hate being in the quality assurance department. Uh, I hate getting an instrument and have to figure out what's wrong with it. I like to think that somebody did that for me. So what happens is some companies are better at it than others. Now, let's be honest here. When the guitars get really inexpensive, like everything that's inexpensive, QA goes a little lax. We'll say lax and lets a higher percentage of stuff that's really not up to muster through. So when you're looking at a $99 Squire Bullet and somebody says, oh, they're horrible. Well, the truth is they are horrible is an incorrect statement. The statement should be there are some pretty bad ones and there's going to be a good volume of them. This particular instrument, I probably tried, I think I said it in the video 15, I can't remember, but it was a dozen for sure. It was a, it was a lot. I went through them all. Uh, and this was super light. It played great. The neck felt great. It needed no modifications whatsoever. I polished the front ends a little bit, but that's not fair to pick on this guitar. I've done that to a lot of high-end guitars as well. Um, and this guitar was actually fine the way it sat. I just wanted to improve it and do some fun stuff. So here's what I did. I upgraded the tuning keys to 70s Fender style tuning keys. And the reason I did that was I got them used for $20 and you can't beat that deal. So I have new tuning keys that help the guitar stay in tune. I polished the nut and made sure it's smooth. So it stays in tune. And it's fantastic. And uh, left the bridge stock. I had no problem with the bridge. Some people get up, you know, they like the, the brass blocks and this and that. And I, I was fine with this. The guitar is fine, Ty. Um, the, uh, everything I left is I left alone, except for I changed out the um, pickups. Now, I, what I did is the best deal out there when it comes to boutique high-end pickups is the William Wiggins pickups. Now, he makes them by hand. They are handmade. So if you have a Wiggins pickup, he, they are made by hand by him, and they are made out of wood. These are flamed koa. Look at that. So the entire pickup, top, bobbin, and bottom, are, uh, are exotic woods. He makes all kinds of exotic woods. You can find his pickups on eBay. They are Wiggins pickups. I put the spelling right here. And they are about $160 for a set and that's shipped in the US. Now overseas, you might have to pay some extra shipping, but still, that is a far cry for those kind of pickups. They're amazing. Um, funny story, I actually showed these to a Seymour Duncan rep once, and he guessed $300 uh, for the pickups, easy. And uh, I agree with him, It was they're fantastic. <laughs> So I have 150 into the pickups. I bought them before the price increase of 160. 150 into the pickups, 100 for the guitars, what I paid, 20 for the tuning keys, $270, and this guitar is fantastic. <laughs> I keep it downstairs. Actually, when people come over, this is one of the first guitars I ever show them to my, my friends. I'm always impressed how great a guitar like this can be. I've been tempted to actually replace the neck and put a higher end neck in it, like an American neck, and just have it the way it is. And then I, when I play it, I go, I don't know why I think that, because it's fine the way it is. Never 
confused what you see on my videos. I like high-end guitars because I'm collecting guitars for a long time and there's something cool about them. But let's, let's be clear, I really do like all guitars. If I come across a guitar, I don't care what price it is. If I like it, I like it. This guitar, I just happen to need it for a video and end up liking it and I play it. In fact, I play it a lot. Usually when I'm reading emails in the morning, this is what I'm actually playing. <laughs> So to answer your question, what do I think of Squires? I like them. The only modification I made, so you know, is I sanded off where it said bullet right there. I like it to say Squire Strat. I didn't want it to say Squire Bullet Strat. I don't know why, I just didn't, didn't care for it. And it was easy to do, so I did it. Uh, like I said, it fa sounds fantastic. Has great tone, great sustain. Some people like the affinities more because they have the alder bodies and a little bit higher quality components, definitely higher tuning keys than the bullets. I mean, let's face it, the bullet is, is a low end. And don't forget, we sell the t-shirts and that's what you're seeing at the beginning and the end of the videos from now on. Uh, you guys, when you buy the t-shirts, please take a photo and send it to me. I'm loving these photos. I hope you guys are loving seeing them. I love seeing everybody uh, around the world and all the crazy ways you're coming up with cool pictures and sending them to us uh, to put on the front and back. I, I really, really dig it. And and uh, I want to thank you personally to everyone who's doing that. It's a really big deal. And plus, every time you buy a shirt, it's just helping the channel. Uh, those funds are helping me spend more time doing videos and less time doing, you know, my day job, which is cool. Um, and it helps me, helps me get more time on the camera, so to speak. So, as always, thank you for your time and know your gear.